Connor, it looks like uh, potentially Vander Kane will maybe spend a little bit of time on your left wing. Maybe just talk about when his physicality gets added to the line, how whether it's four checks or you know just kind of softening up the other team, how that element can help. That's great. You know, he, uh, he creates a lot of loose pucks. He creates a lot of open space. Um, you know, he's someone that uh, you know I really enjoy playing with. He's a guy who's been able to make an impact in a series before. We saw it last year in a few of them, but in particular the Calgary series. Like that physicality right now can matter. Uh, certainly, you know he's a big body. He skates really well. Um, gets on the forecheck really well, um, and um, you know I'm sure it's not fun going back for, for pucks when he's on the ice. Um, you know you can see that. So um, yeah, this is uh, a time of year where he uh, he uh, he really ramps up that physicality. Along the same lines, I think everyone on this team has played with everyone at some point. How, how much does that help at this time of year when things change quickly? Yeah, there's a lot. You know, we've you know mixed and matched for a long time. You know, going 11 and, and 7. You know, throughout the course of the year, you're going to play with lots of different guys and you know injuries and, and all those types of things. Everyone's pretty comfortable playing with each other, so um, yeah, it's pretty interchangeable that way. How would you kind of maybe evaluate the, the work of your line and yourself uh, through two games? Obviously, no even strength points, but it seems like you guys are generating a fair bit. Yeah, the series is 1-1, one, one. so, um, you know, I kind of gauge it that way, um, you know, um, I think we've done a good job generating, we haven't found a way to, uh, to uh, um, I guess, break through there, you, through yet, um, you know, but like I said, the series is 1-1, one, one, and, you know, that's, uh, that's all that matters. So the curse of being you is, when you only get 1.2 games, everyone goes, what's wrong, is he sick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, what's it like, I guess, how do you gauge it, how do you say, like obviously, you want more than one point, I would think. But uh, what do you do with that? <laughs> I couldn't care less about points. Um, it's more about uh, winning games. And like I said, the series at one-one. Um, you know, that's uh, that's the most important thing. Um, you know, it'd be nice to, uh, um, you know, maybe uh, find a way to, to 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 chip in a little bit more offensively. But you know, it's a tight checking series. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be that way. Um, like I said, I thought we've done a good job generating chances, and um, you now it's only a matter of time. Was there a time in your career where this would have been a, a moment for you to start cheating, for you to start getting points and looking for offense, and, and maybe not playing the way you're playing right now? You know, I understand the narrative that uh, you know that's what people want to talk about, but um, you know, like I said, the, the series that one one. Um, you know, I think. Uh, that's all that I really care about, you know. Um, nothing else really matters. Something to be said for rhythm. Like, if a coach starts trying to chase you away from this guy or that guy or looking for this or that, maybe it throws you out of rhythm a little bit, but Jay seems to be just allowing a rhythm to happen. Yeah, I don't think, uh, you know, the matchup on our on our side, um, I don't think Woody's too concerned about that. Um, you know, I think it's, it's, you know, both coaches like the matchup, you know. It doesn't seem like anyone's kind of straying away from from anything and um, you know it's good it's two good teams going at it and you're gonna get that. Jay always says you have to earn your confidence in this league can you talk about the depth contributions and how much confidence they're playing with especially in game two? Who sorry? Uh, the depth contributions like Derek Ryan and Clean. Okay Kong. sorry yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. no um, fantastic obviously uh, you know cost a huge goal there Ryan all the same thing um, you know but uh, you know everybody you know uh, Bukestad winning big draws blocking shots on the penalty kill um, you know up and down the lineup getting contributions. Connor, I don't know if you've seen a picture of Winnipeg Jets um, Morgan Barron's face got cut for 75 stitches and I know this is a bit of a pie in the sky question and there was resistance to half visors in the beginning but when something like that happens does that move players needles at all on more facial protection when you see pictures like that? Um, <laughs> yeah, I um, haven't really thought about it, um, you know, definitely saw it, obviously a super unfortunate event and glad, uh, glad the guy's okay, um, you know, that was really scary and, and uh, anytime you're around the eye, it's obviously a little bit scary, so, um, you know, with that being said, it's, uh, it's a fast game out there and, and uh, those things can happen and, um, you know, but I would say for the most part, um, you know, those things tend to not happen, knock on wood, obviously, but, um, you know, it's kind of a one-off situation, I guess. Yeah, and do you think players are resistant to any more facial protection, given how they were to have visors when they came in? Um, I don't know. Um, that's a good question, I guess, Your to personal ask. Preference? Uh, personal preference, you know, I'm good with the way it is, um, you know, but uh, that's just me.